All right, so this is the end of day three or four, three? Three of the trenching out. And um, so Michael hit the internet twice, uh, the first day and then today. And, but I hit it once my own self. So we got down, we're still down there, and this still needs to get cleaned out better because I need more room to attach. Right there is where I need to put a T in in order to run the one and a half inch pipe that's going out there and then the two inch pipe that's gonna come out and go down that trench and out for the tap in for the tiny house and then go out to Ron's field and then it splits off out there. But what I wanted to show was the machine that is Michael. Um, in two days time, he got this trench all the way done. Gave me an opening on both sides for the boxes that will go in there for the tiny house and for the valves for the hoop houses that are gonna go here. And uh, so that's beautiful, that's, that's perfect. That's gonna give you plenty of space to tap uh, for the tiny house and to tap for the hoop houses. But yeah, he did all of this. I mean, the, the trencher did the big part of it, but the problem with the trencher was it kept shoving the dirt back in. And um, that's what it did all in here. And then I stopped like right where that bailing twine is to like right over here because he found the internet and I didn't want to trench too far and break that one too. That's inside a copper pipe. This is the part that I fixed a while back. And so that's still intact. And um, so he had to hand dig that part of the trench out. But man, he... That was almost filled back up right up in there on the driveway. He got all of that out. And then the truly, truly brutal part of the whole thing is right over here. So the tea's gonna come right here and it's gonna turn into uh, one and a half and one and a half to go out. But he did all of this today for the most part, and you'll see in just a second why it's so brutal. Here's what he had to kind of work around, was all of this from this tree, and then there's some more from the apple tree, and then the gauntlet back here. You can see a bunch of little ones here. But then this, this is brutal, and he got all of that out of there it looks fantastic I told him probably what I'm gonna end up doing is from this point right here I'll cap the one and a half inch and I'll just push it underneath and just push it through and push it underneath all of these roots the roots are chopped but I still think it's good it might be easier just to push it underneath and then right over to here and take that pole out that's still on our property and I'll make the box right there that'll come up for the um, other part so that was really just amazing so he got that done in, in essentially two days he finished off the pasture where the hoop houses were he cleaned all of that up and then around here he got this opening I I was able to do a bunch of cuts with the trencher and I got most of it and then so he just had to clean it out for me. He did a great job right there. So we'll, we'll put the manifold for this hoop house and the new hoop house over there. And then this is where I hit the internet. And one of the things that I realized, because also doing this, so he cleaned all of this out too. One of the things I realized though, is that there's lean that could have been done here and lean that wasn't done. And I'll take you to where I think it's at. First of all, the internet. The internet line was a bunch of Yahoo kids, basically, uh, come through. When I say kids, okay, they were in their 20s. But, I mean, they did as, as little work as they had to, essentially. 
Um, but they, they, they have no rhyme or reason as to how this thing ran. They just basically ran it however they could get the soil up the easiest. See, this, I thought this thing ran right along the curbing here. See, that makes the most sense to me. Mm -mm. It just randomly runs out here somewhere, and then I have, so I have no idea. I know it goes up against the fence back there somewhere, but I have no idea what it is. I have no idea why they didn't run it along here on the barn and here and then out. Uh, there's curbing over there that they could have run it against too. And then the next thing was way back when, let's see, so it's going to be right here. You probably can't see it down in there because of the dirt. I got to get cleaned out. But there's, there's a pipe that runs across and it runs to the front yard. And then, so that's okay. You know, I hit a pipe, no big deal or anything. Um, then you come down here, gosh, I can't even find it, but you come down here another foot or two feet and there's another pipe that runs and it runs to the front yard. Why? Why does it run? They don't run on top of each other. And why does it run so far apart? And why didn't they run it back over here and more along the lilacs or along here or something it just makes no sense whatsoever that's not lean to me so what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to take the extra time and i'm going to dig all of this out reconfigure the manifold there and i'm going to run two brand new lines right here and run it just either probably just stub it out right here and then move it over to there and put it right up against the deck or right underneath the deck so that you don't go shoveling into it all the time. But I wanna run it right along in here, right up against the base and everything. Um, and I wanna stack them on top of each other so it's just one line running through. I don't know why they don't do things like that. It just, it's that mentality of, well, I don't have to come back and deal with it. That's gonna be somebody else's problem. So I just wanna get this job done because we get paid by the job and not by the quality of work that we do. Um, or, you know, they didn't just didn't even think it through. They just, you know, probably either had a trencher or uh, a backhoe and they just cut it up and ripped it out and put the darn stuff in and just ran it wherever it runs. So it just it makes no rhyme or reason.